Hey everyone, Nathan from Elegant Themes here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna give you an overview of Extras Posts module. The Extra Post module is unique to the Extra theme and can be found in the admin of your website under Extra Category Builder. To get to the Post module, we need to create a new layout or open up an existing one. For simplicity's sake, I'll go ahead and open up a category layout that I've pre-built for my homepage. Okay, so here at the top of my layout, I've got a code module followed by an ads module. Um, we've got a featured post slider, a disabled text module, um, which I did using the right click command disable. Um, I can re-enable it if I want, but I don't want to just yet. And finally, in the second section, we start to get some post modules, which is what we're focusing on in this video. So I have two post modules here and three more post modules down here. Let's take a peek at what these post modules look like on the front end, and then I'll show you in the settings how I was able to achieve uh, my final result. So here's the front end layout, the ad again, featured post uh, slider, and then my post modules. So here's two post modules, and here are the three post modules in the lower portion of my build. So you'll notice that each one of these, for, for my purposes in this um, layout, I decided to have each one represent, each post module represent just one category um, and sorted by the latest posts in that category. Uh, this was just my personal preference for how to display um, posts in this particular layout, but let's take a look at the settings panels for these modules and see what all is available because you'll, you'll realize very quickly that that's just the tip of the iceberg of what you're able to do with these really powerful post modules. Okay, so to get to the settings for the post module, I just need to click on this hamburger icon. And there are three tabs to the post module settings. There's general settings, advanced design settings, and custom CSS. Okay, so the first, I'll just take them one by one and go through all the settings in each tab. So the first thing you'll notice under general settings is a long list of categories um, that you can select to be used within um, this post module, this particular post module. So for my purposes, I just chose to have stories selected, just one category, but you could choose to have any number of combinations. You can set your post limit. I chose four. Again, you can choose as many as you want. So we could choose to display only featured posts And if you've actually selected a category above, it will only show featured posts within that category. So that's pretty cool. Show thumbnails. Um, so yes, no. Show your author, categories, comments. Choose whether or not to show your rating. Same with date, which is actually really useful. So like, you know, a lot of people don't want the date on their, their posts displayed because you know, they don't want people to show up and see that the post was written like two years ago and think it's irrelevant because some people are in the business of writing, you know, timeless or evergreen content and choosing not to display the date might be a really good choice. So you can also choose to change the heading style. I could change that to filter, subheading, category name. And you see that's changed this. It was display like this before. Or I could choose to put a custom title in. And then preview that. Personally, I'm gonna leave it as default, but that's just me. So sorting method, most recent posts, sorting order, descending. We have, we could also do under sorting method, most popular or highest rated. So most popular is gonna be um, a combination between your comments and your number of ratings. And your highest rated is simply gonna be the posts with the highest ratings. Sorting order can be ascending or descending. Uh, you can choose your date format. Of course, um, you can set an admin label. So this is what it's gonna show up in the builder. And then you can also set a CSS ID and CSS class right here to make it easy to customize in your child theme or in your uh, CSS panel. 
All right, let's jump over one tab to the advanced design settings. Here we can adjust the maximum width. So I might, you know, want to make this a specific pixel number, like only 200 or 500 or whatever the case may be. And that'll set a max width for that module. I can change the header font to any of these built-in fonts. I can also style that with bold, capitalization, italic, underline. I can change that font size very easily with this scrolling bar. I can also adjust the text color for the header, the letter spacing for the header, the header line height, the subheader font, subheader font size, and really everything about the appearance and styling of the elements that make up the post module are up for grabs here. I mean, you can really adjust just about everything. Main title font, main title font size, main title text co color, letter spacing, line height, and then on into the metadata, and then the body font, even to the list title font. We get down here into the background color. We can set a background image. You probably don't uh, want to use the images I have, but just so you can see what that looks like, I'll just put a random image in there. So let's make our background a bunch of coffee grounds real quick. So you can even set an image as the background. Obviously you'll want to pick an image better suited to that task. You can choose to put a border on it and we can adjust our margins and our padding just by entering in the number of pixels here. We can also choose to change the post format icon. So an example of that would be this right here. So this is a quote and I do not have a featured image here so it just shows the post format icon instead of a feature image and I could choose to change that by adjusting the color here um, to whatever I want. I can also choose to remove drop shadow and, and or adjust the border radius down here. And finally, let's jump over to the last tab, which is custom CSS. So uh, for most people who have used the most recent version of the Divi Builder, this is very familiar on, when the, in terms of the custom CSS panel, um, custom CSS tab before the element, the main element, and after the main element. What's amazing about these the post module and many of the other um, category layout modules is just the wide range of things you're able to enter custom CSS for. Module head, module header, module subheader, main post area, main post entry, main post title, main post meta, main post meta icons, which is your rating and comment, um, main post excerpt, main post overlay, main post overlay icon, post list area, post list entry, post list title, post list meta, post list meta icon, and post list thumbnail. All of these can be styled with custom CSS, which is just an insane amount of control over every aspect of the post module. So when you've gone through all of your panels here, all of your tabs, and you've finished making all the changes that you want to your post module, you can just save and exit update and or publish and then take a look at what you've created on the front end. Okay, well that's all for this tutorial. This has been an overview of the extra posts module. If you have any questions about what we've gone over in this video, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll make sure you get a response. If you're interested in learning more about extra or seeing what else it's capable of, you can click the view demo button. If you're interested in seeing more extra tutorials, click the subscribe button and never miss a great tip. Thanks for watching.